Frontier just made a significant announcement about two of the hottest topics for the incoming Odyssey expansion ...VR support and ship interiors. We're going to break down what we now know and what it all means. If you enjoyed this video remember to hit thumbs up and subscribe to the channel that stuff really helps. Without a shadow of a doubt two of the biggest topics for discussion for the upcoming Odyssey expansion next year have been support for virtual reality headsets and ship interiors. VR support in Odyssey was omitted from the expansions Steam page when it first went live and following a barrage of queries from the community the words ...not available at launch were being widely used by Frontier. VR on the PC in Elite Dangerous whilst definitely not the biggest platform used by players is a huge deal to those that do use it and Elite is without a doubt one of the reasons an awful lot of people own a VR headset. Likewise Elite has been one of the killer must have applications for people that already own headsets. The omission of VR and then the lack of clarification on its future support was a significant body blow and caused more than a few rage quits in the community as well as some serious gnashing of teeth. Frontier have clearly heard the outcry and have today reacted to it in a very uncharacteristically open and frank post. On the subject of VR in Odyssey the post by community management lead Arthur Tolmy says this quote, in Odyssey players will be able to fly down to planets, fly through atmospheres and drive along planet surfaces in their SRVs all while remaining in VR. When disembarking your ship or SRV players will be presented with a projected flat game screen in their VR headset in order to continue on foot. Players will of course be able to remove headsets if they so choose but this will not be a requirement to continue your adventure." End quote. So in a ship or SRV you can stay in VR and enjoy all the benefits it brings to the experience. If you then proceed on foot the true VR experience will be lost for the moment but the headset will instead present a flat screen to you in the headset to allow you to continue wearing the headset if you so desire. You can of course take the headset off if you wish as well. The post continues by saying that Frontier quote ...strongly believe that VR should only be enabled for on foot gameplay when we have an experience that truly matches the same quality bar that we set for cockpits end quote. And therein lies the issue that Frontier is dealing with when it comes to VR. Put very simply VR for on foot gameplay comes with huge gameplay experience overheads in a normal game. Implementing first person VR in a game like Elite gets way more complicated. Elite is likely going to throw varying degrees of gravity at the player as well as very probably zero g environments and movement within those environments. Frontier seems keen quite rightly to ensure that their first person VR experience is delivered to a high standard. It's clear from the post that the quality first person experience is still being worked on at Frontier. It just won't be ready up for launch. The solution they have offered seems to us the very best compromise we could have hoped for and I do believe Frontier should be applauded for clearly listening to the community and announcing early what their intentions are. Next then the subject of ship interiors. This is what the post says quote Odyssey will see players explore a wide range of on and off world locations including station interiors. Ship interiors will not be included at launch." End quote. A very clear and unambiguous direction then. We'll be exploring locations on and off planets including station interiors. We won't be seeing the inside of our ships yet but the paragraph did include the all important phrase quote at launch unquote. The clear implication from the use of that phrase is that ship interiors will be coming at some point further down the line. Whilst I'm sure plenty of people myself included would like to go wandering around their ship in Odyssey the reality is that beyond sightseeing there needs to be a reason to do it and development of that level of complex gameplay will take time to get right and make into a meaningful experience. 
Up until this point this level of openness regarding upcoming features has been extremely out of character for Frontier and such a clear change of direction in that regard is absolutely to be welcomed and recognised. Also it's blindingly apparent that Frontier have heard the cries from the community regarding VR support and have acted to appease those cries with a positive solution and a promise of more in the future. We were excited for Odyssey already. This fantastic news only adds to that excitement. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then ….o7 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>